can you believe everybody that it's already March? Today's March the 2nd, what, 2010? So, like, yeah, time is, like, truly flying. I hope everybody had a good week. I'll let you know from now. I had an event-filled week as normal, you know, like the life of Babsy in the country just doesn't stop, right? Anyways, I'm just going to get into the stories then because there's enough of them, okay? Which one should I start with? <laughs> oh, oh, let me tell you. There is a restaurant by the name of Hong Shins in downtown Toronto. Now, I personally like this restaurant called Watu's, which is across the street from Hong Shins. But Watu's seems to be closing down on a night a little earlier than normal, so, um this Hong Shin's restaurant is open. So, Muscleheads birthday was Friday night, and Terri Ann and I went, and what happened was, um, when we went there, she's like, oh, you know what, let's go to Hong Shin's and get something to eat. So I'm like, I don't know, I don't like going to new places, you know what I mean? So I end up going out. So when I go in there now, I'm ordering my food and everything, and the people are like really rude. Like, rude. Like, they're taking my money and they're being rude to me. So, anyways, Terri Ann had ordered her um, item and I ordered mine and I wanted to separate them in the bags because I was saying, you know what, I don't want to put them in the same bag because I'm dropping her home and then it's going to be like confusion. So I said, excuse me, he said, don't talk to me till I call your number. I was like, what me? Listen, he is so lucky that I was with Terri Ann and she's a distinguished young lady because I was a about to go Nelson Street up in there. You know so what I mean? Anyways, now, take my food, take hers. He's like, next time you come in here, you need to tell us from early what you want to do with your food. And blah, blah. He's like all angry. So I'm like, whatever. I get home now, and it's 4.30 in the morning, you know. I'm like, yeah, boom, hungry. I'm going to nail my food, open my box. I see one lobster body. And three lobster legs in the box. Now, I ordered a double lobster, you know, which means it should be two big stacked boxes of lobster, which is what I get when I go to Watu's. These people gave me a lobster pooch and three lobster legs. So I vex as ass now, you know. But the problem is I live far from this place, and I'm like, you know what, I don't know if I'm going to go back and this and that. But when I woke up in the morning and really looked at the box of what the remnants were, I was like, nah, Babsy, you got to go. You got to go talk to these people, man. So Saturday night now, I got my Soka Posse with me, Candy and Camille in the car and this and that. And I said, you know what, no, man, after I left Sol Solarium, I said, I'm going into Watu's and I'm getting my money back on my food back. So I went in there. You know I don't just start with a country just so. Yeah, I mean, so I went in there and I was just like, hey, you know, what happened? Last night I ordered this and that. Them, them playing dumb, you know. Them playing dumb. So in their real pack, they may want me to turn light foot lean on them, you know. So I just said, listen, this is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to buy another one and you give me the remaining one that you did not give me because this was too teething. So they ended up giving me that. So I mean, cussing the Hong Shins, but my ass ain't going back there. Furthermore, I've had very much run-ins with Chinese people, and I remember being very young about my father, Bentley. Yeah, you guys love him, right? Bentley had it out a day with his Chinese woman in the bank. Because he went to the counter, and they called him to the side, and they were like, Bentley, you know, can you stand to the side, Mr. Bab? We need to talk to you. So my dad's like, what happened? I ain't do nothing wrong. Why do you want to talk to me? So this woman comes up. She's like, Mr. Bob, Royal Bank has many, many investments for you. My dad's like, investments for me? Use a cunt? Let me tell you something. I this overdraft 59 cents and one of this charged me $20 in overdraft charges. Furthermore, you is a Chinese woman. Chinese people don't wrestle like black people. But I got $2 in my pocket and now you want to be my fucking friend? Carry your rascal. So now I'm like, younger than tells them like, dad, dad, yo, take it easy. You can't really go in like this in the bank. But I'm like, Carla, move from in front of me. Yeah. When you get the chance to regulate them, you've got to regulate them. You don't buy nothing from no black man. But I can most take my heart earn money and give you my money and want to investment fuck you i'm like oh so ashamed and actually we're banned from that bank we're not allowed back in there i don't know it's probably about 15 years ago so maybe i can go back in now and they wouldn't recognize me but bentley yeah you don't try that so my thing is i just didn't like the fact that they were rude to me i i understand they messed up my order but you know what i done with them terry i ain't going back there i don't care all right Next, now, i inside the supermarket. i gone to pick up some items, and this woman beside me in the aisle, was she Muslim, wrap on, she had, and she had covered. 
Then she has men come over and all of them wrap up. I can't see them. I don't like that kind. So I look in at she ain't ease off. She gone in the next aisle. She come back in the next aisle up underneath me like cut now. She feel my name Barack Obama. What the fuck she want with me? So now I, 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 I just feel uncomfortable, right? So she looking at me and I looking at her. She asked me if I got a problem. I was like, yes, I do. What would he ask you up underneath me for? She's like, oh, you're a black person and you're racist. I wouldn't expect that. I said, honey, boo. I'm not racist. I don't like no fucking buddy. That face cover up beside me. Cause when you tackle the cricket bat and lick me down and carry away my money, why can't tell the police, oh, she had on a head wrap? She face cover? I want to see the villain. So don't cover me with a head wrap. I don't care if he's a Muslim, if you pull Paul Breda. Do not cover your face around me because I got to see who attacking me. I don't want nobody face cover around me. Men that's coming ski mask and thing. No, it's not because you are a Muslim. Listen, assalamu alaikum.